Coming back to the ShareJet Pixel, and, and again, this, is, this has been in closed beta and we've been testing with a lot of clients, um, but, but now I guess it's just a time for us to move on to an open beta stage. Again, I'm, I'm uh, refraining from taking away the word beta because we are still learning. We are, we are building out a lot more uh, intricate functionalities within the ShareJet Pixel, but, but right now we've seen a lot of success with a few people who have you know, already uh, entered into a testing phase started and implemented the pixel and obviously uh, started to convert their users for their end goals using the data and using the knowledge that we have acquired from the pixel the newly launched pixel that we're talking about here you could look at it as as um, you know a replacement to a facebook pixel or a google conversion pixel that you find on uh, facebook ads and google ads uh, conceptually it's the same it, it talks about how the user is behaving and then that is fed to a lot of algorithms that are working 24 hours in the back end to find the best users for your campaign. Uh, you could definitely optimize your campaigns. You could track your user activity on the ShareChat platform itself. Uh, there's a better delivery performance of campaigns and you can generate various conversion signals. And of course, while, while we give off that data to you in the most transparent fashion, it also helps you to you know, further be more aware of what kind of campaigns do work on ShareChat as a system so that all your media plans, all your future media plans can actually consume that learning and bring more success on ShareChat ads. Um, a quick sneak peek on what, what we would uh, you know, potentially be covering in the product demo. Uh, we, we've been introduced to the ShareChat pixel already. Uh, I, can, I can quickly take a moment and show you on the platform how to generate a pixel, set up the base pixel corresponding events, how to use conversion ads to prop user actions and grow your sales by defining the completion action. Uh, I'll, I'll take a moment to switch screens uh, and, and go back to the test account that I have, right? Uh, this is a test account that I've created for myself. Uh, a, a, lot, a lot of people who are right now looking at the ShareChat Pixel, one, one quick peek into who the ShareChat Pixel, what, what advertisers will be eligible for the ShareChat Pixel. A ShareChat Pixel is a web-based uh, solution. So any, any advertiser who's trying to uh, gather conversions, gather leads, uh, do sales on, on a web platform is eligible for a ShareChat Pixel. Uh, since this is a web-based platform, you can integrate your ShareChat Pixel uh, maybe with your Shopify storefront, your big commerce storefront, or, or even if you have a custom implementation, you could as easily go back to your Google Tag Manager that you have aligned with your website and get the ShareChat Pixel aligned. For people who are looking at installs and uh, user acquisition campaigns, it's not that we haven't opened up conversion ads for you, but then again, for us to be getting that data, we have a different route where you should be, uh, actually your application should be integrated with uh, one of the most uh, string of uh, mostly adapted MMPs, marketing platforms, like AppsFlyer, Branch, Kuchawa, Singular, Adjust, and, and that is something that you could use to give us that data back in terms of postback. ShareChat, in fact, is... Uh, uh, deeply integrated with all these MMPs. And while you send us back your install post packs and anything um, in terms of end funnel events from those platforms, we'd be able to add that up to our conversion funnels as well. While we talk about the share chat pixel now considerably, um, this, is, this is the place that you'd see uh, when and while the share chat pixel gets enabled for you. Right now, the enablement of it depends on a very subtle message onto the chatbot that we have and our teams will quickly enable the share chat pixel for you once uh, uh, you know the efficacy and, and we have gauged that you are eligible for the pixel uh, moving forward in a week's time or so you should also everyone should be seeing a share chat pixel module here and whoever is eligible can opt into the share chat pixel from right this screen um, obviously the screen will look a little uh, different than this because you'd opt in after you opt in this is something that you start seeing uh, the share chat pixel has has two main components. One is the base pixel, um, which, which comes up top here. And if you, if you click on show code, you'd see the whole base pixel here. This is essentially something that enables all other events to get fired. And uh, how is it used? It is used, it, it has to be present on the head file of each, of each page of your website. And uh, it's as easy, like you just put it on the header of each of your website page and the base pixel gets installed on every of those pages, which in fact enables you to install various events that you want to you know, pass back to ShareChat ads. 
uh, as next steps, what you could do is you could, we have a string of uh, standard events that are available to you. So as per your business, as per your events that you want to fire, you could select any of these uh, standard events that you want to. Uh, maybe for a demo sake, I'll, I'll select add to cart, I'll select initiate checkout, and I select purchase. While, while you select all these, we map it to your system and to your base code. And from here, all you could do is you could just go ahead, copy the JavaScript function that's available and uh, easily get on to implementing them wherever you are raising events on your website. And that gets you sorted. That gets you on and, and that essentially starts firing all the events back to the share chat system for us to uh, better learn about the users that are reaching out to you. Uh, the next, as next steps, if we talk about how, how do you go ahead and verify installation, of course, our teams are available to help you with that. But since it is a self-serve, you would want to, you'd most likely want to do it yourself as well. So we've we most recently, just yesterday, in fact, we've launched this ShareChat Pixel Helper, which is a Chrome extension that you could go and download from the same page. And uh, this, this essentially helps you to to let you know that the verification is successful, the share chat pixel is correctly installed. And as you go through the whole user experience on your own app website, because you're the best judge of where you've implemented the event, you'd keep on seeing subtle events here that, that validate that, okay, this is an event that share chat as an ad system is receiving, has started receiving. And then all you have to do is maybe enter your website, whatever website you have implemented the pixel on and, and just hit verify. This opens up your website in a new screen and you can start using the share chat pixel helper. How will the share chat pixel helper contribute to changes within your system when you're creating campaigns? If you see after the share chat pixel, and of course, when um, you start posting us back data from your apps as well, uh, one small change that you'd find in your campaign creation flow is that you'd be able to create a campaign and the conversion goal selection will be opened up for you. Uh, what are we doing within conversion right now? We are in beta and uh, of course, while we open up conversion and deep funnel event conversion for you, uh, how conversion helps you is conversion gives us a signal that, okay, this is a user who started um, advertising with us and is passing back all their events to us. What, what is something that you, that you need to do and go ahead with this is that while you are selecting your campaigns, while you're selecting and, you know, uh, trafficking your campaigns. Um, let, let me show this to you on another platform on, on another, uh, While you go ahead and select your campaigns, create your campaigns, you'd be able to see that the conversion has been opened up to you. And as next steps, all that will be available to you on the campaign front is a CPC goal. When we talk about the CPC goal, you'd, you'd only be able to select the pricing model as CPC because essentially your campaign is now uh, triggered to fire to, to be optimized only on your conversion events. And then we still start, we still keep on um, charging you for the clicks, uh, which is an optimized CPC model. I can talk more about it. Uh, an optimized CPC model, while it works on CPC on its base effect, it lets you optimize on your conversion goals, optimize on the events that you've been firing. So as, as soon as you select your conversion model, the only pricing model that gets available to you is a CPC. And uh, then, um, however, you you are going ahead and trafficking your campaigns is the same thing that you follow. So essentially, you you give us a daily budget, and you enter what kind of bids you want to make for this. Your bids will be enhanced on the way how your users or the users who are clicking on your ads going to your website and then performing those end conversion events. How are they performing? And that is what uh, enables us to know more about those users 
reach out to more users like that and uh, in the end help help a lot of conversions for your campaigns talking about how you'd see uh, the analytics on the events right you would most most uh, importantly want to know how many events are being generated from your campaigns so within the same reporting analytics view um, you'd see an addition of a different tab once the share chat pixel is open to you you have delivery and reach uh, campaigns, what creatives have been contributing to what kind of events and, and what number of events. And, and that is what will help you to make that decision more, more, more and more pinpointed when you are, you know, trying ahead and optimizing your campaigns on your front. Uh, 